In this simple tutorial, I'll demonstrate the powerful PhotoLab, a dedicated environment included in WebPlus that makes it quick and easy to fix and adjust your photos. To open PhotoLab, select any photo on your page and then on the Picture Context toolbar, click PhotoLab. For ease of use, the filter stack on the right contains some of the most commonly used adjustment filters. To apply one of these filters, enable it and then adjust its settings. The buttons at the top of the dialog let you switch to split screen mode, so you can see before and after versions of the image. You can also use these buttons here to zoom in and out. And you can click this box to disable and enable filters. To reset filter values, simply click reset. Or if you want to completely remove a filter from the stack, just click the X button. Additional adjustment filters are provided on the adjustments tab. These are divided into quick fix and pro edit categories. Click a filter to add it to the trial zone displayed beneath the filter stack. The trial zone lets you adjust and preview a filter before applying it. To replace a filter, just choose a different one. If you like the results, click commit to add the filter to the filter stack. At the bottom of the photo lab window, the images tab displays all of the pictures in your website. Let's work on this image next. First, I'll remove the default filters as I'm not going to use them. This isn't necessary, but it will make it easier for you to see what I'm adding to the trial zone and the filter stack. The effects tab provides a selection of categorized effect filters. Of particular note are the artistic effects. These let you turn an image into an instant masterpiece. On the Favourites tab, you'll find a selection of presets. Some of these, such as sepia, are created from a single filter, while others use a combination of filters. For example, if I click the old photo effect, you'll see that this adds black and white film and vignette filters. If you apply a combination of filters, or set particular filter values, you may want to save your filter profile for future use. To demonstrate this, I'll add the Metropolis lighting effect. And now I can save this together with the old photo effect by clicking Save Filter. I just name my filter group. And now over on the Favorites tab, you can see my new filter profile has been added. If I select a different photo, I can apply these same filters all at once. You can also apply filters to selected areas of a photo using a mask. In this photo, let's apply a black and white filter to the background, but keep the runner in colour. First, I apply the black and white filter. Now I choose New Mask from the drop-down list. By default, I'm in Select mode, and I don't need to change this. Now I just select the areas to which I want to apply the black and white filter. You can edit existing masks, for example, let's change this one so that the black and white filter is applied to the subject rather than to the background. To do this, I click Edit Mask and then change from Select to Protect mode. Once you've created a mask, you can use it on any filter you apply to your image. If you decide you don't want to apply a mask, just choose None from the drop-down list. PhotoLab also provides easy-click red-eye, spot repair and crop tools for common photo fixes. You can use the crop tool to crop and straighten an image. To straighten this image, just drag the angle slider. Or click Straighten and then click and drag to define the new horizon. To crop, I can select an aspect ratio from the drop-down list or drag the crop handles. To reposition the photo inside the crop area, I just click and drag on it. I've fixed and adjusted my photos, so now I click OK, and there are my adjusted images.